A big thank you to my patron Mikhail for suggesting the topic for this video. And remember that you too can help suggest topics for videos and see your name in the credits by supporting me on Patreon. So check that out if you haven't already done so. But before you do, enjoy the video. Wherever you go, the chances are that you'll find some funny or quirky facts about the place. For example, the town that I grew up in may or may not be the gateway to the underworld. But just because it's fun, here are some quirky facts about some random German places. The city of Ulm boasts the tallest church in the world. But more importantly for this video, its name forms part of a tongue twister. That's not the fun part. The fun part is that I now have to say it. In Ulm und um Ulm und um Ulm herum. Thank you. I won't be doing that again. Magdeburg is the capital city of Saxony-Anhalt, and its local dialect is a Low German variant called Eastphalian. An interesting quirk in this dialect is that while this phrase is spelled with five Gs, they're all pronounced differently, and none of them is pronounced G. Using the International Phonetic Alphabet, you can see the different pronunciations of the G. Oh, you want me to say it? Alright, I'll do my best. Apologies to the people of Magdeburg, but it's a bit like this. Vogelgesang in Magdeburg. Let's move on to something that doesn't involve me trying to pronounce something. Parts of the city of Mainz aren't in Mainz. They aren't even in the same state. They used to be, but after the Second World War, Germany was completely reorganized. The new states of Rhineland-Palatinate and Hesse were created, and the border between them was the River Rhine. But this meant that six districts belonging to Mainz were now on the other side of the border. Three of them became independent towns, and the other three were incorporated into the city of Wiesbaden. And this means that there are parts of Wiesbaden that have Mainz in their names. According to opinion polls, most of the people who live in these areas still feel they should be part of Mainz. In fact, when naming new streets, the city of Mainz is very careful not to use names that are already in use in Amurneberg, Castell or Kostheim, just in case the day ever comes that they rejoin Mainz. The people of Bischofsheim, Gustavsburg and Ginsheim are actually quite happy with the situation because historically they were mainly Protestant and never felt they belonged to the Catholic city of Mainz. Many German cities and towns like to add a descriptive prefix to their names. For example, there is the Free and Hanseatic city of Hamburg, the Brothers Grimm city of Hanau and the Luther city of Wittenberg. But some of them you feel are trying too hard. For example, Horstmar describes itself as the town of the Castellans' houses, because it has some. The town of Altenburg chooses to call itself after the popular German card game Skat. Why? Because it was in Altenburg that some people took the older game of Schafkopf and changed some of the rules. They take it very seriously though. It's the seat of the International Skat Tribunal, which exists to resolve disputes over the interpretation of the rules. My favourite though is the town of Teltow, just outside of Berlin. Famous for growing turnips, it's known as the root vegetable town of Teltow. The town itself has, though, stopped short of adopting this name officially, a decision which is certainly wise, if disappointing. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.